so I met Brian over um, the YouTube videos is how I met him. I was like, oh, this looks interesting. And so I started looking at the videos and I contacted him and then he just came out to my studio. I'm like, who does that? Right? Like, it was so cool. So you came out and then it was just, um, it was wonderful. Like to be with you, just a total normal guy and and I'm totally down to earth person. So we just connected and it was great. And, and you brought your wife and that was awesome. And like, I felt like it was just a really normal experience of meeting normal people, but we were, we all experienced growing in this higher level um, because of all the work that you've done and, and how you've explained it so easily. I feel like I just keep growing um, experientially and it never stops. It just continues to grow. And, and I feel so blessed and so happy to be who I am and happy to continue to experience life. Like I never, like, even if I have a sad moment, I never think I just want to throw it all away and be done. And I used to get like that. I mean, I, used, I had periods where I was very depressed and I never feel hopeless anymore ever because like there's, so much that you couldn't possibly bring me down with because of all this information. So the ego doesn't have that kind of power over me now. It just doesn't. Um, I think that's the greatest gift that you can look at the ego and be like, oh, wait, what's going on? I'm feeling uncomfortable. What is this about? And, and it's not like beating you up. You're looking at it going, I see what you're doing. Like, <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> what do I have to do to manage this, right? Like, it depends on how important it is to you normally. But that's part of what we learn. Like, if it's really important to you, it might be even stronger. And you're always like, all right, I see what you're doing, right? Instead of, oh my God, I, I can't do anything. Like, you, you never go into that place, you know? And you like, well, this might be a little bit harder to navigate than this, but that's just because it's important to me. And the thing that I know is God loves me and wants me to have what I want. So I always have that in my corner. And so with all of that combined, I feel invincible, which is like, I mean, <laughs> how, how, how do you do better than that? Right. But right. it's true. You like know? when you were a child, when you felt invincible, like nothing could yeah. harm you. Yeah. Yay. Right. So that, that's yeah. not childish. That's childlike. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. it's really great yes awesome. and I owe it all to you and and learning how to learn and not beating myself up I had a friend who was a philosopher that would, we would discuss that it's okay to be a beginner like every time we saw each other because I just hated being a beginner hated uh, it hated it so bad and like now I'm okay <laughs> now I'm okay to be a beginner I'm like well okay so I don't know how to do this but I can learn right? It took a lot to get over to be able to say that and actually feel that way. So that was, I guess, my biggest ego piece to like, I had to experience like getting past that over and over again. Right. Yeah. Can you take off so. your glasses for a moment? Yeah, I'm sorry. There's like a light ring on your lens. I'm there sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Now I can see your real glow. <laughs> <laughs> I am glowing. There I am are. glowing because of all of this. It's really cool. Yeah. Well, I'll just say that, you know, I didn't do it. I created the exercises, but you did the exercises. You yeah, taught yourself, you know, these things that you really can't learn verbally from other people. Like you have to experience them. I get that now because pe like there's things that I see about friends and stuff that I, I'm like, well, I can explain it to you, but you're still going to have to kind of like walk that out. Right. Like, like you can think that it's not going to work out for you, but I know that God wants you to have it. You just have to know <laughs> that that's the thing now. Like, the, right. like you just have to get that into your consciousness now. Yeah. And that can just be experience after experience. Yeah. I mean, it's just experiences teach us. Yeah. You know, it's like, a, you know, I, I could tell you stories about what it's like to ride a bike. Right. But I'd rather just get you on the bike and then you, you can create your own stories, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the fact of the matter is, is that everything we do in your body never lies expands our capacity to feel love and to love others, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. do you feel that? Definitely. That has been the greatest gift to be able to just be happy and loving. To give and receive love is the biggest thing of the heart. And it's, it's not available to you if you can't get past that ego stuff. 
It's yeah. really, it's really not. Not to some extent, yes, but you're. <laughs> but even if someone loves you, and you can't receive that, it's so much different than being able to actually receive it. It's like, oh, I'm receiving love. Like I started realizing I'm able to receive love now. Right. You know, and and that was huge. <laughs> it was yeah. huge. My then, I could that... give, then I could love even more. So the give and receive <laughs> is just part of it, but it's the best part to be able to give and receive love because that's all that it really, that's all we yeah. really want. I mean, <laughs> right? And that's the core of who we are. I mean, to me, love is so close. Like I can't teach love, but I can teach you how to remove the barriers to feeling more love. And then it just I blossoms, know. It's, you know, but that's, that's you doing it for yourself. I'm glad that the exercises work for my alpha oh, testers yeah. <laughs> and they now we got to try it on the beta testers what's that that was huge for me though i mean i definitely went through a lot to experience oh this is what's happening um with the love give and receive part yeah, yeah. it's in your, like i remember the first time i truly felt like an unconditional love i didn't even recognize his love i didn't know what that was Right. You know, to me, I'm like, <laughs> That's what is I mean, this the yeah. bliss people are talking about? Like, like what's going on? <laughs> like, you know, like, but once, once you realize it's everywhere and it just permeates through everything, um, there's nothing else it could be. So, yeah. Well, I used to just experience this energy. Like, I would feel <laughs> the blissful energy and think, oh, this feels great. But it was really just me and my spirit, you know. But when I could do it with people, and I remember telling you that before, I was like, yeah, the universe needs to be watched. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that part. But that's the barrier that I had to come down. I had to be able to give and receive love to like everybody. And then that started happening. And then of course you realize what's appropriate and what's not. And you know, it just, I don't know. Then you stop worrying about all those things. You just learn how to be who you are. Right. Yeah. Right. Which is actually easy when we stop trying to be someone else <laughs> yes, exactly. yeah good well thank you so much i definitely you know want i am choose to share this with people yeah you know for sure so thank you yeah thank you for doing it <laughs> it's amazing to me that you put so much heart and soul into it it's just really um it's it's a huge blessing